All right, so I'm back out here again for another day of shooting. Now this time I was able to have the gun store adjust the red dot and the laser. Now the thing is I put on the plate myself, but when I added it, it actually kind of felt like it was loose and a little bit janky. And so they used a torque screwdriver to adjust it and that made it nice and tight. However, I still was not able to turn this side dial. I actually broke an Allen wrench trying to do it. So I went back to the gun store and they were able to use just some stronger Allen keys to get it broken free and adjusted. They used a laser bore sight that you put in the chamber and that tells you the exact positioning of the barrel. And the owner was able to adjust the laser and the red dot accordingly. Now, I don't understand why, but when I came up here to shoot, it was off. In fact, there was no distance where I could get this and have the two dots on top of each other. When they were adjusted at the gun store, he made it so both the green laser and the red dot were right on top of each other, and it just was not that way anymore. I don't know why. Yeah, it might be the green laser that moved. I just wanted to check both of them right, right down here. Skinny, okay. <laughs> so you see where our dots are? Yeah. So it's a little... I'm satisfied with that, but you had them close together, so the green well, has moved a little bit, right? We actually went to the back wall, so at the back wall, it's going to be dead on. So it's been adjusted again, and this time it's on top of each other. And even though you can't see, I'm going to give it a quick test. Yeah, just at this distance, they're very close to each other. And at a slightly farther distance, they're like right on top of each other. So as of right now, they seem to be on point. The dots are right on top of each other at a certain distance. All right, so we're losing sunlight. I'm losing time, and I actually didn't bring any bullets. I have like three mags. For, for reals, I'm not just trying to be shocking. That's kind of messed up. So I'm going to test this. They, they seem to be adjusted more. Uh, I don't know how they came to be unfocused or how the dots separated, or why there was movement on the red dot and the green dot before shooting. Got the GoPro going, but I'm trying to find the best angle where I can hold this up for the camera. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do both. So right now, I'm not gonna use the GoPro, I'm gonna just use the main camera. So again, I just want to give a huge thanks to AFT, that is Advanced Firearms Training in Gresham, Oregon, Gresham Gun Store. Now, they just had their one-year anniversary. They just had Customer Appreciation Day with tacos and the whole nine yards. It was a blast. I, I had my fill. It was good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start shooting because I am losing daylight, as you can see. And even when it's not that dark and I can still see, the cameras cannot. I seriously have used like an expensive 4K camera or $4,000 cameras or however you want to look at it and they're just not that great at low light even when I turn up the ISO or the shutter speed. That's how I can film in darker situations but they're just really not great at picking up low light. So let's get to it. I'm going to do some nighttime shooting but let's get to it right now before we lose all sunlight. Hey, my friend, how are you doing? Hey, man, what's up? It's good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you too. What are you guys doing? I'll put the safety on. Oh, sick. Yep, and then check this out. Damn, that's sick. Now try it. It has both. Red dot, green dot. Oh, sick. Hell yeah. 
What's up, man? Yeah, I'll definitely wait for you to go now that you're back. I was just going to shoot that can and then maybe a few oh, sodas. I was, I was all the way up. Yeah. Not, not at the shooting, shooting range. There's, there's like a, a spot. Yeah. Like a bit up. Yeah. That's cool. It's good to see you. Okay, so cars keep driving by. The guy with the car actually came back. He was in my one of my previous YouTube videos. Safety off. I already cocked it a moment ago. I mean, did I hit the side? Let's go check. It looks like I hit it. Okay, so I want to confirm that that was the first shot and I hit the can of beans. I repeat, the can of beans has been shot. Okay, so safety on, we're walking over. Okay, so safety on, we're walking over. Regrettably, it's very dark, so it's hard to see, but you can see that the can of beans has been shot. That's just how dark it gets, and that's how fast it happens. Okay, so there's three energy drinks and three clay pigeons. I missed, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the clay pigeon. Not sure if I hit it, going for the other soda. I'm noticing that the green dot is moving seemingly with each shot. I am missing. I'm going to get a bit farther back like I'm supposed to be. I don't know if I hit it. Oh, we had a jam. And we have a malfunction. A bit of a stove pipe, it's stuck. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Oh, we have we have a jam. And I, I've already had to fix this jam before. So in life or death, I mean I'm fixing it now in front of you. That would be that would be horrible. Put it down! Oh my gosh, we had a jam! I said put it down! Put it down! We had another jam. Put it down! Put it down! Oh man, I did not put any earplugs for any of this. I said put it down! Jam! Is that a little, little jam? Okay. There we go. I only put ten. Is that a jam again? One, one more jam, yeah. Did the shell push forward? No. It's there. It's just. Uh... There we go.
Okay, look. I did not bring enough ammo for this journey, so this may actually be the last mag. I'm gonna go ahead and get to it, but the green laser has died, so all I have is the red dot. Let's go ahead and see if we can get something. We have a stovepipe failure. We have a stovepipe failure. I also may have lost a round on the ground, but let's go ahead and see if I can finish this off. Oh, we have another failure. It looks like a failure to eject or extract. I'm not sure how I'd be able to distinguish the difference, but it did not eject and try to feed another one. Let's go ahead and cock it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Another one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge this because I want to try the flashlight. All right, just while that's charging, I'm going to go ahead and check out some of these targets. Uh, it's super dark out here already. Um, one of them is shattered. I don't believe that's from falling. It was shot. That should be on camera. This one... This one could be from falling. This one looks like it fell. This one looks like it was shot, but I could be wrong. This is the can. This is the can, which you can see here has an entry exit, but I still have two cans left. Um, I'm gonna move this one, albeit I think that one's hard to see. All right, I still got to go ahead and wait to charge that battery. Uh, it's probably going to be an hour. I'm going to be here for a while. One hour later. Let's go. Now, I accidentally ran out of ammo, but I did find some subsonic ammo. So we're going to see how that goes right now. I'm not even sure it's going to cycle. We've already had a problem. The subsonics were weird and kind of like short and fatty or not. They were, they were weird looking. Um, we've already had a problem. Let's see. That's one subsonic that fell to the ground. That's one that's stuck in the, nope, that's a spent shell. So we've already had a failure, but that was a spent shell from last time. Okay. I am gonna go ahead and use the flashlight, so I hope this doesn't blind you out. Let's go ahead and go for the two remaining energy drinks and last clay pigeon. Uh, I think it fired, but I'm not sure it cycled. Okay, we definitely had a problem, but I'm gonna keep shooting. We definitely had a problem, let's keep going. Power through. Let me make sure this camera's recording. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I just had to make sure, it could not be one of those days for me. I had to make sure.
Uh, that seemed to have worked, but we've had another problem. Shell stuck in there. But as of yet, the subsonics have not cycled. I did have a little bit left of regular ammo. I was going to do like a mag dump at the end. I love that kinetic reload. Let's go ahead and see if I can hit these. Malfunction. 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 Stove pipe. Uh, you kind of can't see it, but there's a there's a little stove pipe. It's there. I can see it. I can see it very clearly. We have another one, not a stovepipe, but another jam. Uh, shell did not eject. They're having trouble ejecting. Man, this is a problem. Another, another problem. Go. Safety off. Flashlight on. Flashlight laser. I know I'm not supposed to do this at different distances, but I'm going to run up on them and then I'm going to back up and we'll see just what results I get. Ready? Oh my gosh, we had a jam. We had a jam, and I'm not lying. Oh my gosh, we had a jam. We had a jam, and I'm not lying. We had a fucking jam. So I have to tell you, the Assassin Gun Project may be dead. Uh, the subsonic ammo is not running through this. Then again, neither is the regular ammo. Um, I have one round left that's regular, that's not at home, and I have some subsonics. So I'm going to see if I can shoot any of this, and uh, I'm still wearing the ear protection, but let, let's go ahead and see. I'm going to shoot some of the subsonics without ear protection, some with, and I, would, I just want to see what kind of results I get. Let's see if this even cycles. I don't think it will. I don't think it'll cycle. Ready? If that cycled, let's shoot again. But I'm going to actually try to run up on him again. Ready? Ready? Nope. Didn't even shoot. Didn't even shoot. Didn't even cycle. It's not gunsmithing, but I'm over here using a screw. Like a screw that you use in construction to pull out these shells that keep getting stuck in there and again it does not cycle um, is that stuck in there again it is it is so I'm gonna pull it out I'll pull it out here in front of you I just use this screw like the one you use to build stuff um, this is disappointing. I'm still gonna run up and see if I can get a little assassin shot on this bastard, but this is This is disappointing Okay, let's go Got a ricochet 
and I'm willing to wager that it's the exact same thing again. So it shoots the round, fails to cycle another, and then... So it shoots the round, fails to cycle another, and then the slide presses forward, slamming the shell into place, which is what's been happening. I don't, I don't even think I can mag dump the subsonic, which is what I was going to do. Um, if there's another channel that's shooting the subsonic out of the Caltech P17, let me know in the comments. Because I'm interested. I'm interested to know what's, what's happening here. Jammed again. Look, let's let's shoot one on camera so you can see it jam because it keeps happening. It keeps happening. It's a shell stuck. <clears throat> it's a shell that gets pushed forward into the barrel. It keeps happening. Let's see if I can uh, show you. Should I turn this off? Maybe. Little shot, it already happened. Can't shoot again. It's already it's already clogged. It's already so the subsonic isn't running. Like this is my first experience with it, and I bought a second box, so that's unfortunate for me. But the subs are not running. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a little bit better angle, but I also took out my ear protection just because I want to see what this subsonic sounds like. Let's go ahead and see if you can get a nice clear shot. Also um, I believe I've already cocked it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the magazine and see if it ejects the shell. I have removed the magazine. I believe there's one already loaded. Let's see if it ejects the shell. Uh, without ear protection, that subsonic did not hurt my ears. It kind of sounded like a firework. In fact, I've heard a firework that popped off and was loud enough to hurt my ears. That wasn't too bad. If you could see that all right there's one energy drink left but of course that was a sub so it pushed the shell forward i mean if you were good enough to do one and done like a headshot uh, then this would this would be exceptional especially with the subsonic and a suppressor but as of right now this is oh, essentially a failure this is a failure uh, we're having problems with the browning ammo, we're having problems with the CCI mini mag, we're having problems with the subsonic. <sighs> Without the red dot, I absolutely love this firearm. But with the red dot and the custom plate, the custom plate weighs more than the red dot. If this was like polymer or thinner or something really light, However, between the weight of the red dot and the custom plate that is causing malfunctions, I can make that educated guess similar to that PMR-30 that was on the channel. You know, as much as I love my guns, I either have to remove the red dot or accept that my Assassin's Gun project is a failure. Do not tell me this is already dead. How is that already dead? I just charged it. Don't fucking lie. Does this need to be replaced under warranty? Wow, tonight is just a night for problems. Uh, this Olight 
Balder Mini is dying out on me. I can barely even get it on, and I just spent literally over an hour. We spent a solid 60-minute hour charging this Olight Balder Mini, this Olight Balder Pro Mini or whatever, um, and it keeps dying out on me. shoot that final energy drink I'm willing to wager money that shell is stuck in there again now as far now as far as noise goes I want to see the difference between this subsonic Aguila and this regular Aguila and I'm gonna see to the camera as well as my ear which is different I also put three subsonics in here Let's see if they cycle. I did lubricate the gun a bit more. I know it's a 22 and I've been shooting a lot, so I did lube it up a bit. Let's see if it cycles. Uh, so first, let's just try the loud regular one. Okay, this is my noise test. Both are Aguila, one is subsonic, one is not. Let's go ahead with the non-subsonic first. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. That did cycle, and I should just go ahead and finish it because, you know, why not? Okay, now we did have a failure. Yeah, it was a shell and a round stuck. I'm just trying to get this last one in. You know, I remember when my first gun jammed and I thought to myself, I really wish that I could say that it never jammed ever. But here we are. Now it did stay back. That was the last one. There is three of this Aguila. And this is the subsonic. Let's see if it cycles. I doubt it at this point. No. No. No cycle. That was a no cycle. I'm not even going to finish it. I'm not even going to reload it. I'm not even going to try. Uh, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm just looking forward to that numerous comments saying that it's my wrist when at this point I do think it's the red dot. Okay, I found two more random regular Aguilas and uh, the camera was not recording. So let's go ahead and see if we can shoot these. This is regular Aguila. There is a second one, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it didn't shoot. There's basically no point to try this because I already know it'll happen, but I wanted to make sure that it was on the secondary camera. This is the subsonic Aguila. That's it, but as you can see, it did not go backwards, so there is a shell in there. There is a shell, and it did not cycle the next round. Uh, we're, we're done here. We're done. This Assassin's Gun project is essentially concluded. I, I probably would just say it's a failure. Uh, it does not cycle the subsonics, so that's not going to work for keeping it quiet. Man, this has been extremely disappointing. I don't even know what else there is to say. I thank you guys for coming out here with me. I appreciate you.
Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking motherfucker! Fuck!